I'm going to show you how to make this cross. I'm using number 10 thread yarn and I'm using a 1.5 mm hook and you can find directions down below. I'm starting off by casting or by slip knotting onto the hook. You're going to start with a chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip stitch at the beginning chain two join you're going to chain three one two three and then you're going to work three double crochet in that ring one Two, three, chain two, one, two, work three double crochet in that ring, one, Two, three, four. You're going to make four because you had the chain three, three double crochet, chain two, four double crochet. I did say three, but it's four. Then you're going to chain three. One. One. Two. Three. Turn. In this chain two, you're going to work three double crochet. One. Two, three, chain two, one, two, work three double crochet in that chain two, one, two, three. And then I'm going to chain, then I'm going to work a double crochet in this last double crochet. So on top of that double crochet, work a double crochet. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work. Work three double crochet in that chain two. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three double crochet in that chain two again, one, two, three. double crochet on top of this double crochet here. So you have this double you have this chain 3 here and you're going to double crochet on top of it. It's considered a double crochet here. 
and you just keep repeating this pattern up to 14 shells. This is uh, one, two, three. You have three shells. You're going to do it up to 14. So chain three, turn, work three double crochet in that chain two. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two, work three double crochet in that chain two again, one, two, three, double crochet on top of that chain three, When you're done, it'll look like this. You'll have 14. So just keep repeating the same pattern that I just showed you up to 14. If you need to pause the video, that's fine. So now I'm going to show you how to do the arms of the cross. The arms of the cross. This is your beginning that you started with your chain eight. And this is the end. At this end here, which is the pointed top of your cross, you're going to go into the sixth row. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so turn it this way. I'm going to show you how to do your arm. So when you have your one shell, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to go Okay, so you're in that sixth sh sixth shell. And you're going to slip stitch on top of that double crochet. Take your, your yarn and slip stitch. And then you're going to chain three, one, two, three. And then you're going to work three double crochet in this space here, which is this chain three. It's the chain three from here and then the space. So then work three double crochet. Then you're going to chain two. One, two. Then work three double crochet in that chain three space again. One, two, three. And then you're going to double crochet on the uh, double crochet here. Then you're going to continue on the arm, so you're going to work a chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work, and then you have a chain two here, and you're going to work your chain three, or your three double crochet in that chain two. So one, two, three, And then you're going to chain two, one, two, and then work three double crochet, one, two, three, and 
then you're going to double crochet on top of this double crochet on top of this chain three. Then chain three, one, two, three, turn your work and just repeat the pattern again, three double crochet in that two chain two space, one, two, three, chain two, one, two, three double crochet, one, one, two, three, double crochet on top of that chain three. And so you're going to have four arms, so you need one more shell, so chain three, and just repeat again, turn, create that last arm here. So now you have your arm and what you're going to do is you're going to fasten off, leave about a six inch tail so you can weave it in. And then all these yarn pieces you'll weave in with your, uh, you'll weave in with your, your yarn needle. So. Now you have your other side that needs uh, arm. So what you'll do is you'll come down here again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, six. And you'll go ahead and on the opposite side you'll do the same thing. You'll take your yarn, you'll work your chain three, you'll work your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in here then work your double crochet in this double crochet and then work your shells up just like this. Now I want to show you one more thing on this cross is the trim. So what you'll do slip stitch into the side here I have a contrasting cream color. You can't probably tell the lighting, but that's going to be the edging. I'm going to slip stitch with my opposite, well, my contrasting color. And then I'm single crochet, or I'm single crocheting here in that same space single crocheting in the double crochet. So each double crochet will get a single crochet. Now when you get into these spaces of the three double crochet or, or the two double crochet, or when you take your hook into these chain three spaces or your chain two spaces, you'll work two double crochet, one, two, chain two, one, two, and then two double crochet again. One, two, now you have a double crochet, you're going to work a single crochet in it. Now you have another space here, you'll work two double crochet, one, 
two, chain two, and then two double crochet. This uh, thread yarn is cream and it's a number 10 as well. Then you'll go right into this one and do the same thing. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, sorry, two single crochet. <laughs> I think I've been saying double crochet. I meant to say single, sorry. So single, these are singles. And then you're going to single in this double. Anything that you see a double, put a single crochet in it. In these spaces, put two double, two single crochet, a chain two, single crochet, two single crochet. The pattern's down below if you need the written pattern. And then a single here two single crochet, a chain two, two single crochet, a single here, two single crochet, a chain two, two single, and so that's the edging. It's the same pattern all the way around. Now I'll show you how you can make a tassel. When you make a tassel, you can take your yarn and wrap it around your hand. So I'll do it about 30 times. One, so I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'll do maybe twenty-five, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Now I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to cut the edge, one of these ends here. Now I'm going to take the yarn and tie it. Well, before I tie it, I need to see if I can fit it in here. So you have your end here, which was the chain eight. We're going to place that in that ring. So here's your tassel. When you place it in this ring, you can straighten it out, take a piece of yarn and tie it around. Tie it maybe a couple times. And once you straighten this out, you can cut, trim up, trim up the ends. So finish this off. Um, continue on with this other arm, just like this arm. Do your edging. Straighten this out. Take all your ends and just weave in your ends with your yarn needle. And when you're finished, it'll look like this. So that is how you make this cross. Now I just gave you the, um, the pattern of how to do it. And um, that is how you do it. And thank you for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't already.